Hello everyone, and welcome to how to eliminate the need for a CD or DVD ROM drive in your computer. Brought to you by eVideoHow.com. Now, an interesting idea that is developing with new computers is not having a CD or DVD ROM drive because I guess it just wastes extra space and a lot of things don't require it anymore. Specifically, Apple with the MacBook Air came up with this. Now the thing is that on, in OS X, there is a ISO mounting software built in, which means that if you have a disk image, you can mount it and OS X will read it for you. Unfortunately, this does not exist in Windows, so the best way to do this is use a program called Alcohol 52, or Alcohol 120 if you actually want to pay for it. Now the easiest way to find this program is just Google Alcohol 52. The first thing that comes up, and well, actually, it looks like the easiest way to do it. The second one is the free edition, so without having to show through the whole maze, uh, just hit download there, and you can download from any one of their uh, mirrors and install it. All right, now what Alcohol 52 does is it allows you to create a virtual disk drive. When you first open it, it'll ask if you want to do that, and you do. So you'll see, if I hit my computer, I have my E drive, which is DVD RW, which is the physical drive, and I have a DVD drive F, which is a virtual drive. It's not, it doesn't actually exist physically, just imaginary. Alright, so, coolest thing you can do here is you place a disk into your DVD-ROM drive. Now keep in mind this won't go through copy protection, so doing this with a game, computer, PC game is the best thing that you can do it with that I've found. Click on Image Making Wizard, pick your drive, select your options, and go through everything. I don't have a disk in there right now, so I won't go through it. It's pretty straightforward. Now, when it's done, it's going to appear right here in my list. And you can see that this is a PC game that I've copied. It's called uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth. And this way, I'm able to play the game without actually having the disc in the drive, which is really nice because if I'm running out of battery power, spinning a disc drive takes a lot of battery power and the hard drive is going to be spinning anyway so saving a lot of battery power that way so what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag it and now it'll be loaded and now if I look over at my computer you can see it's loaded in the virtual drive and then you just double click it like a regular game and now it'll play. Alright, I hope this helps you out and maybe saves you some time. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to watch this video and all my other videos in high quality. Please visit my website at www.evideohow.com.